All right. Well, first of all, we want to thank you all for being here and uh, getting this message out. Uh, the most important message is that uh, the situation here is resolved and, and things are safe. Uh, why we're here? About 7.10 this morning, we had a disturbance uh, near 8th and Lincoln. Uh, an armed individual uh, fired uh, at least a couple of rounds between there and, and this location. Uh, thankfully, we had many of our citizens and community members that uh, called and, and let us know what was going on. Uh, officers responded very quickly. They uh, engaged uh, this armed suspect and uh, resolved the, the situation. Um, at this time, uh, the suspect uh, is uh, deceased. We can uh, share that uh, information. Uh, we can confirm that the suspect was armed. We can also confirm that uh, the suspect had fired a couple of rounds. Uh, again, I want to thank our community for letting us know, for calling uh, 911 as quickly as they did and getting our officers here to the scene to uh, keep our community safe. I also want to thank the, the brave officers that engaged this armed suspect and resolved uh, this situation. Uh, this is uh, very preliminary uh, in the investigation. We will have far more details uh, as we get, get those and we'll do a, an additional press briefing uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours to update uh, the community. Um, and, and that's uh, all that we can say at, uh, at this time. Originally we were told someone was in custody. I'm assuming that was that person who now we know is dead. Correct. Okay. We, it, it's one individual. Uh, we feel this situation is completely resolved and that the community is safe. Have you guys uh, ever encountered this guy in the past? It sounds like he was sort of disturbed and yelling. And yeah, this is, uh, again, uh, very preliminary in, in this investigation. Uh, as details come available, we will post a, a second uh, update and provide what we can at that point. What more do you need to do on scene, and how long do you anticipate this area will be closed off? Uh, we believe that it'll take us several more hours. We want to protect the integrity of the investigation. Uh, and to that point, we need uh, our community's help. So uh, we believe that uh, individuals or uh, folks were able to capture video of this incident. Uh, for us to have a, a very strong investigation, we would like to get access uh, to that video. Anybody that uh, has, has seen anything, uh, one, they can send it uh, to us at dpdpio at denvergov.org. Again, that is dpdpio at denvergov.org. We want uh, any and all video uh, from this incident. Uh, there are folks that were uh, on their way to work. Again, this occurred during rush hour traffic and they haven't had a chance to share what they've seen. We would ask that they would contact us uh, through that email uh, address and we will follow up with them to, to get uh, a statement from them. Uh, and or any other video from this incident. How no, old was the suspect? Uh, could not say at this point, all part of the investigation. A lot of us have been talking to people who have seen all of this and they've described this as a pretty scary sort of situation. I'm assuming you've heard those types of stories too. Uh, anytime that you have a, an individual that's armed that is firing a, a weapon uh, here in, uh, in, in the city during rush hour traffic, it's a very dangerous situation. So again, I want to uh, commend uh, our officers for uh, going into a dangerous situation and thankfully uh, the community is safe at this point. Was he firing at so officers too? Uh, again, uh, to that question, uh, all part of the investigation, we could not speak about that at this point. Can you share how many officers were involved and how many fired shots? Oh, we can't uh, at this point. Uh, that would be part of the, the follow-up uh, update and uh, we will share that in, uh, any, any and all information that we can at that point. Chief, forgive me if you mentioned this, but what, what weapon did he have? Can you, did you mention that? Uh, I can confirm that he was uh, armed with a handgun. With, with a handgun it was? Oh, yes. So I know witnesses said that he was walking at least from 8th down, and I know you guys keep walking off certain areas. It looks like maybe those were gunshots that shot out some of like, that window and stuff. Why not stop him earlier 
when officers started trailing him down here and let him get all the way to 8th, or 11th, especially he was fighting on So uh, what I can tell you is that uh, officers responded very quickly. Uh, this entire situation was uh, completely re completely resolved in less than five minutes. Uh, that's pretty uh, fast, uh, and uh, we didn't let an armed suspect get uh, anywhere. The individual was uh, confronted, and uh, the community was then be became safe as a result of that. Thank you, Chief. Appreciate it. Thank you very Thanks, much. Chief.